Economics is the science that attempts to satisfy unlimited wants with limited resources. Mastery over this discipline equips one to tackle issues ranging from the profitability of one company to inflation and output growth of an entire economy. This is why an education in economics opens up a range of exciting career paths. And yet, one often hears questions like, why study economics? Let us try to answer these by diving deeper into some careers. To start with, some quick tips. When deciding whether or not to pursue economics in college, think about whether you enjoy learning mathematics. If you don't have maths in class 12, you won't meet the entry criteria for most reputed economics programs around the world. Also remember, it is not necessary to have studied economics in high school in order to pursue it in college. Once in college, you would do well to pursue research projects and summer internships related to the subject. And when choosing electives too, don't forget to factor in your career interest. An economics graduate generally has a strong quantitative base, sharp analytical skills, and also good verbal and written communication skills. A combination which unlocks a plethora of career options. So you could go on to pursue a master's, a doctorate to work in academia, the government services, policy making, development or even work as an economics researcher in the corporate sector. Or you could go on to pursue an MBA and take up corporate careers in consulting, marketing, finance or business analytics to name some or even become an entrepreneur. Let us explore each of these in more details. Consulting is the world of problem solving for businesses and organizations with different projects giving you exposure to different industries. Think diverse challenges, lots of travel and associated perks, and good compensation. Given their strong analytical skills, economics graduates are good fits and can aim to work for firms like McKinsey, Bain & Company, Boston Consulting Group, Ernst & Young, etc. The numeracy and understanding of how the financial system works also makes economics graduates attractive to the finance sector, which is generally a good pay master. Jobs such as mergers and acquisition, capital markets and trading with investment banks like Goldman Sachs, Morgan Stanley and UBS are high risk, high return and also few in number within India. Many more opportunities exist in the fields of financial or economic research and investment or wealth management, offering competitive remuneration and a sustainable lifestyle. Here you could be working for banks like ICICI, HDFC or Citibank or other financial services companies like Franklin Templeton, Reliance Capital, or even Paytm in the exciting fintech space. After a few years of experience in one of these financial services or consulting firms, you could look to move to private equity, where you invest in growing businesses to make large returns or in hedge funds, which deal in complex financial products and strategies also to make large returns. Actuarial science is another niche and exciting career. An actuary is an expert at risk analysis and generally works in the insurance sector. To become an actuary, you must pursue a separate professional qualification, but that can be done alongside working in firms like MetLife, Max, HDFC or ICICA Prudential, or be advising them as part of the actuarial consulting practice at Willis Stars, Watson, Milliman, Munich Re or KPMG. Economics graduates are also well suited for marketing roles since they bring to the table a good mix of psychological consumer insights and the ability to analyze data. One could work in FMCG companies like Unilever, IDC or Dabur, which are considered the holy grail of marketing. One could also work for e-commerce firms like Walmart or Alibaba, app-based firms like Uber, Somato or Oyo, or even in new age digital advertising and marketing firms. To supplement their quantitative and analytical abilities, some economics graduates even study machine learning or business analytics as electives and acquire a working knowledge of tools like MS Excel, R, Python and Tableau. All this makes them excellent fits for data science and analytics, the sexiest job of the 21st century as per Harvard Business Review. Most tech-driven firms such as Amazon, Google and Netflix have large data science teams you could aspire to join. Or you could work in analytic consulting with firms like the SmartCube or EXL Analytics. Most of the corporate sector careers we have talked about so far 
can be taken up immediately after graduation. An undergraduate training in economics is also good preparation for entrepreneurship. Not only does it help develop a keen understanding of the economic environment that a business operates in, but it also fosters a clear framework-based approach to thought and analysis. Think Elon Musk, Ariana Huffington, and closer home, Sanjeev Bikchandani. Economics graduates are also well equipped to pursue a career in bureaucracy, which is a mix of policy implementation and problem solving. Coming to the more specialized careers for economics graduates, most of these would require at least a master's degree in economics, if not a doctorate or PhD. Policy, governance and development are often aspirational careers for many economic students if you wish to work as part of the government machinery. You could appear for the Indian Economic Service Examination, join the ranks of the Reserve Bank of India, or contribute to economic planning as part of the Niti I.O. Alternatively, you could work with development organizations like Bill & Melinda, Gates Foundation, Pratham and j -Pal. Policy think tanks like Center for Policy Research and ICRIA, or prestigious multilateral organizations like World Bank, IMF, or the Asian Development Bank. Naturally, after completing a postgraduate degree and a PhD in economics, you can go on to the highly specialized areas of research and training. With primary jobs at universities, many professors of economics are simultaneously invited to contribute to national policy thinking. Think. Dr. Raghuram Rajan, Dr. Ashok Lahiri, and Dr. Koshik Basu. Or you could choose to work as an economist at leading companies around the world. For example, the author of one of the most popular microeconomic textbooks for undergraduate study, Hal Ronald Varian, went on to become the chief economist of Google. These are some just of the wide array of lucrative, challenging, and impactful career paths after studying economics. So in case you're still wondering, the question to really think about is, why not study economics? Hit the like button if you found this video informative and share the gyan with your friends. For more videos on economics, management, finance and data science, subscribe to the ISPF channel and click on the bell icon to be notified.